y'all? This is Jack Tim and from Jack's Barbecue in Seattle. We're at the original Jack's Barbecue here in an industrial neighborhood just south of downtown. It was an old dive bar. We bought it, made it into a barbecue joint. We've done that a couple times. Uh, dive bars make good barbecue joints. Come on in. Show you around. Been here for eight years. And it's going well. It used to be an old Italian restaurant. Before it was a dive bar, you can see all the red chairs are still here. They ship Boeing engines in big wooden crates throw the wood away and we get it from a reclaim center and actually make our furniture out of it. It's kind of fun. We like little kids who grew up with tree houses. Now we're building barbecue joints. Come out back, let me show you the pits. We got three giant pits here at this location that were made by uh, some guys in Texas, outhouse pits, they call themselves. Pretty funny. And uh, we get wood from Texas and Oklahoma, mesquite wood, that we ship up. We use that for our main wood source. We found a rattlesnake in the wood pile a few years ago. It was pretty uh, amusing. So, like most barbecue joints, keep the fire burning. This one's kind of winding down for the day. They've been going since 3 a.m. These are long chambers. We don't use the tuning plates to these. We used to use tuning plates, but we actually like the middle of the pit being a little uh, less hot. This one being a little hotter. So we start the briskets there and finish them here, kind of like a slow motion reverse sear. You can see these briskets finishing right there. See some beef ribs getting ready for tomorrow. We do the beef short plate ribs like the Central Texas folks do. We've got some ribs that are in the middle of cooking right here. We smoke those briskets for about 12 or 14 hours. The uh, ribs for about half that, chicken's less, etc., etc. We did uh, 440,000 pounds of meat last year, so we've got a pretty big operation. This location serves two other locations downtown, plus catering, so we do a lot of, a lot of meat out of here. So, Texas loves Shinerbach, and in Seattle there are a lot of Texans, so we sell so much Shinerbach that the Shinerbach head brewmaster, Jimmy, came out and gave us a sign a few years ago. Um, we sell more Shinerbrock on the West Coast than anybody except one uh, Longshoreman's bar near LA that will never catch because they're just drinking all day. So we like cocktails with our barbecue here in Seattle. So we got a full bar. We do all kinds of fun drinks. And the most popular drink here is the smoke old fashioned. And we smoke oranges in our barbecue pit at the end of the pit, the cooler end of the pit for about three hours. Just cut them in half, put them on the grill, and squeeze them out so we have smoked OJ. You put whiskey on the rocks with that Angostura bitters. And for the sample syrup, we actually smoke brown sugar in our barbecue pits too out there for about six hours on a thin sheet tray and then cook it down to a simple syrup and it comes out like a caramel molasses. You put a drop of that in that drink and then add a uh, cherry that we soak in bourbon for many days with a bunch of spices. So that's our fancy barbecue.